Hi all, everyone, Dion here with the Turquoise Iris. Um, do you think that I forgot about today? So it's late for me on Sunday, but I was adding some details to this piece. Now I apologize to YouTube, we were having technical issues the last few days. Um, and then on Instagram, I ended up finishing this yesterday with only Facebook here watching me. So um, I ended up finishing it yesterday but I've been in here kind of tweaking it and adding in a little bit more detail. Hi, Anissa Moriarty. Um, adding and just kind of defining it with the um, a color called Laird Chocolate. And that's the color I used for some of these curly willow stalks. But really, we're done. I'm done. And so what I plan on doing right now is just adding some clear wax to it. If you're not someone who's ever used wax, just something you ought to keep in mind. Um, it can really enhance the color so one thing to know about DIY paint is once you apply the paint it's that gorgeous color that it is in the tub and then it dries and then it changes a little bit color because basically the moisture is evaporated and then it becomes a little bit lighter but once you apply the top coat the wax um, basically the color intensifies back to that original color that was in the jar so no need to freak out I actually received that question today. Um, no reason to freak out, it is normal. Most chalk paints are that way, clay-based paints. So um, what I wanna do is wax this while you guys are on here and you'll be able to see the difference. So I added this whole image onto this last night and I'm done. I just kinda added some framing with the darker around it and I'm gonna do this section and then I'll raise the camera back up and we'll finish waxing the whole entire front of this piece. And tomorrow, I'm hoping I can get it photographed so you can see the whole picture. So I'm gonna start with the bottom down here and I'm gonna just add a clear wax. It's, um, you really don't need a lot, a little goes a long way, but you'll kind of start to be able to see where I've been because the color's gonna get darker. Kind of enhancing it and, and kind of, it's almost like the colors become more enriched I think that's a good word enriched I'm really happy with the way it came out I was stumped there were a couple of days that I were on here thinking I just you know, I'm not feeling it as much as other days. And then there were some days where I knew exactly what I wanted to do, but I'm really, really happy with the outcome of it. And I can't wait to get it on a wall and get it staged for you guys and get it photographed. It is available. It is available for purchase. Someone messaged me today and asked if I sold my work. I do, almost always, 99% of the time. What I'll do tomorrow is I'll let this dry and I'll get my, my brush, this guy. It's the Buff from Paint Pixie. It's a, it's a waxer's best friend. I don't know what that means. It's a waxer's best friend. What you can't see is the shimmer that's basically covering this whole piece. There's a copper shimmer over the whole piece. So from every angle except straight on, it's got a really nice shimmer to it and I like the way that it looks. Actually, you can see it from straight on, but I think it's really hard for you to tell back over here. The DIY wax is really, really soft. Look, 
it's kind of like a nighttime. Anybody that wears a night cream, um, it's extremely soft. Um, a lot of furniture waxes are kind of chunky and it's just like, it's really hard to get the wax out of the can. Not, you don't have this trouble, a little goes a long way. Can you guys see? No, I need to raise it up. All right, so we're working on day 14. 14 of 100. So, do the math. We have 86 days to go before this particular challenge is over. If you give me a minute, I'll move the camera in closer as soon as I get this piece waxed on the entire front. celebrate my mom's birthday uh, today at my house had some family over and then we actually went to my mother-in-law's and celebrated my sister-in-law's birthday so it's just been a day for family so I'm just now getting to doing this and finishing up this piece with you all It just gets a little bit deeper. It's a little bit darker. I'm going to bring the camera in just a little bit closer you so you can see. Okay, so this is going to need to take 24 hours to dry. Then I'm going to take this little guy, big guy, the buff, and I'll end up doing basically the same thing in a circular pattern. Kind of go up and this way. And it, what it does is it takes those... It takes, it's kind of like a car wax. It's going to take the car, the molecules and just really work them together and it creates this really solid surface to keep it moisture resistant, okay? So, got that. This is a product by Pink Pixie. It's called The Buff. It is a little bit high. It's very, very good quality, so it's a little bit on the higher end, but it's a solid waxing brush. It's six inches by three inches, maybe seven inches. And it covers a lot of ground. And for those of you that do a lot of waxing, you really want to have this guy. All right. So what I need to do is actually wax the sides, but all I'm going to be doing is the exact same thing that I did on the front, so there's really not a whole lot going on. Uh, oh, okay, it's just a rich, what's that? It does, it does. Um, I decided that it's kind of like a, and it, it just enhances and pulls that color back out. I had a message today asking if it's common for the paint to dry and it look a lot lighter. Well, oh, you've got some people on here on Facebook that have that brush, Anissa and Sharon. And when you cannot find your weights, you just, this, I'm just kidding, it's really not that heavy. I promise I'm kidding, it's not that heavy. Um, then this was the little C. I like because I can just hold it like that. Really nice, they also have one with a long handle, um, but my this is my clear brush. So I'm just gonna do the exact same things on the sides and on the top, and then I'm gonna roll, oh thank you for telling mom happy birthday. She actually leaves for Mexico in the morning. 
um, on vacation, so she'll be celebrating her actual birthday um, in Mexico. So I'm really happy with the way this turned out. My inspiration was a maple leaf at this time of year in Oklahoma. They're, the trees, right around Halloween, they're always just bright red, and then of course they start to fall, and that bums me out. Um, but that was my inspiration, and I started with Cowgirl Coral, Marquee, Cherry Picked, which is our brand new color, and I added in some Summer Crush and some Liquid Sunshine, and then I sprayed Bohemian Blue out of a water bottle, watered it down, sprayed it all over, and just kind of let it drip in this pattern, so it kind of created more of a shadow background for the flowers. And then um, yesterday, I actually, um, well, when did I paint? I don't remember. All the days are running together, you guys. But I know I finished up the hand-painted design on Facebook yesterday on the live. Um, so if you didn't see that and you're on Instagram and YouTube and you want to and you happen to be on Facebook, you can go over there and grab that and catch that. Um, but anyway, it's done. I'm going to wax the sides tomorrow. I'll buff it and hopefully get it on a staging wall and get it photographed. Super happy with it. Um, the wax really brings out the cherry color. Yes, it does. Um, so just yesterday I actually did the bigger leaves and framed it out a little bit and then tonight before I waxed I framed it just a little bit more with some smaller details that I know you can't see from the camera but I needed it you know to kind of frame it um, thank you guys thank you so much I will be back tomorrow for day 15 of 100 and I have no idea maybe what I should do is actually um, sorry my back is itching it's done um, Maybe what I should do is actually go live while I'm staging. Maybe we should do that all together. Stage it together. I actually have this other piece that's rolled out of here. This beautiful dresser that was here all week. I have it rolled out ready for the staging wall tomorrow too. So it's going to be a good day. I'm going to go buy a big bouquet of flowers and um, stage tomorrow. So you know that you know guys know that I love that just as much as furniture painting. So for those of you that hung out with me on this makeover, I appreciate you and you and you and you and you and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Okay? Have an awesome night. I'm going to go have some birthday cake. <laughs>